Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies, gentlemen, non-binaries of all universes known and unknown. This is Role Players. Welcome back to Savage Worlds, a game that none of us have played in a really long time. So we'll just be relearning it with you. So if you've never played before, this might be a good place to start and relearn how to play the game. So before we get into what the world's going to look like, all you need to know is we're going to be in the wild west, or at least some semblance of it. Yeah. But before we get into that, let's introduce our characters and our players, starting with our returning favorite German who comes on the show, Adrian. Hi, buddy. Hi, I'm Adrian. And I play a character called Osprom. And he's a scaly dude from Dicky Lake. But he used to live on a water. <laughs> but his neighbors didn't like him very much, so he went above water. But people didn't like him there either. So now he's just trying to survive and make money. Yeah. So you're a scaly dude, and also you wield battle axes, apparently. I am the hatchet man. <laughs> uh, good. Well, that's good. All right, let's move on to uh, returning back to the show. Regular cast member, Justin. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to be playing a fella named Cutter O'Toole. Um, he's a, a feller and such. Um, wears, a, wears a hat, uh, some, <laughs> some, some old blue jeans, a faded gray shirt. Uh, you know, he's not, not nothing special. Normally he's he's a clean shaven fella, but he's he's recently come under some uh, trouble with the law of light. So uh, he's got his little facial hair grown out, so he can look a little different than he used to. And that's about that. Excellent. Uh, and then finally on the show for the very first time, we've got Cass. Hi, Cass. How are ya? Um. Well, my character she named she's named Rin and she is a like a robot android humanoid kind of uh character she's got like a robotic arm that she helps steady her sharpshooterness and um she she was created so that uh she can go do things so uh yeah that's that's Rin she she's fun too yeah, I can't wait to hear what Rin's like, but uh, also you're on other things and I know you'll be with us for some time on the season, but I still want our listeners to know what else you're in. Cause, so you, know, you can feel free to go and do a little plug if you like. <laughs> well, I'm also in Free Action Cry. I play Kakai and she's she's kind of a kind of a badass little cleric over there. She's she's fun. Yeah, so go root for Kakai. Yeah. Free Action Kakai. Free yeah. action Kakai. Free Kakai. <laughs> free Kakai. <laughs> Hashtag free Kakai. Hashtag free Kakai. <laughs> okay, so we have a scaly dude, we have an android gal, and we have a, have a criminal of the law. Um, I guess a scaly guy is also one, which we'll get into shortly. But, well, so... The town that we're in is called, uh, well, actually, I, I only had the placeholder name as Doodad because I couldn't think of a name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody wants a better name for this place, it's Doodad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're I just, Doodad. Yeah, do, yeah do, Doodad's what I called it. What's the state it's um, That depends on where we're Mon it. It's Doodad Montana. <laughs> Doodad Montana. <laughs> is that your first attempt, Adrian? <laughs> That's just me trying to repeat what you said. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you gotta do like Doodad. Doodad Montana. So you guys are in Doodad Montana. Subject to change. Maybe the mayor or the whatever will uh, change. Um, I love it. So you guys are in Doodad Montana. It's like northwestern Montana, about 200 miles away from the Canadian border. Um, not far off from there is a place called Dickey Lake, which is where our friend Ostrom is from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's place. a real place in Montana. <laughs> 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 I looked it up. <laughs> so, um, so we got Dickie Lake, a uh, famous talk show woman uh, from the 90s. <laughs> and um, she, um, uh, you guys are currently in um, Doodad, Montana, and you're at like the headquarters of uh, what's known as the Phony Express. Um, the phony express for those of you who have, I guess only nobody else would know 
is essentially a package delivery company that goes places where nobody else wants to go. Gosh, um, we never had a delivery service in the show before. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are essentially, I always like to think like Futurama, but in cowboy times, you know, you get sent on very dangerous, very exotic deliveries that typically nobody would even dream to send the United States Postal Service to do. Um, and you guys are contracted by someone of the Phony Express. So I wanted to explore that. What do you guys think this per- who is the person that runs the Phony Express that gives you guys your dollars every time you do your job? Mutton Chops. Mutton Chops is his name. I mean, he has Mutton Chops. Maybe he's, he's, he's Mutton Chop Joe. Mutton yes. Chop Joe. <laughs> Bald on top of his head. All right. Mutton Chop Joe. Okay. Half, half moon glasses. And he's bald. <laughs> Black black vest. Called. He has a striped white shirt. He lo- basically he looks like a like a like an old timey gambling guy uh, or old, old timey <laughs> blackjack huge dealer. He's got his mutton sleeves. Chops. Huge <laughs> mutton chops. What, uh, Cassie, what el- what else about mutton chops should we mutton chop Joe should we know? Um, he has like a weird tattoo on the back of his head that nobody can really tell what it is, but you you know it's kind of <laughs> sinister. And you're like, you don't really want to ask him about it because you never know if he's going to be like, <laughs> okay. if I, I tell you, job. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's what's his demeanor? Is he friendly? Is he mean? Is he like eccentric? Is he like what? How does he typically talk to you guys? Yeah, Adrian, how does he talk to us? I think he would Adrian, be pretty to indifferent us? to us because he doesn't really care. We're gonna die. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Okay. So he's very he's very much like the neutral people of Futurama. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like all I know is my gut says maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Cool. So you guys are at the at the at Mutton Chop Joe's uh, office. Let's just say it's in this little this little. I wouldn't call it little. It's probably like two, two, uh, two general stores worth of size, which I guess is pretty big for uh, an old Western town. The year is 1901, by the way. Um, and it's probably, probably early morning and you guys are standing there. Um, century. Yeah. Yeah. Mutton chop Joe. It's a turn of the century. Mutton chop, chop Joe just got his, uh, or MCJ as we call him. (laughs) Um, MCJ got his, his shop set up. Uh, he's, he's, he's been building clients over the past few weeks. You guys have been waiting for your first job. Um, now before you guys go approach mutton chop, Joe, what, what do you think that you would have been doing? Where, like, where do you guys stay? I stay in water. The woods. (laughs) The woods. (laughs) Because I'm walking by the law. (laughs) Where does Rin stay? I'm going to stay at my brothel. Okay. (laughs) 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 Gotta change my answer. I run it, you guys. And then I leave it it in a friend of mine in charge of, you know, a thing, you know, so I just hang out. Okay. (laughs) What's the name of the, what's the name of the brothel? Uh, Matching carpets. (laughs) I love it. <laughs> Matching carpets. I love that. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, cool. That's where Rin hangs out. Excellent. Okay, cool. <laughs> Matching carpets. Very good. Okay. Um, so um Osram. Osram, do you like is there anywhere else that you hang out to like get your water fix? Uh, what, since you're far away from home, or do you like ride all the way back to Dickey Lake to sleep? I do not ride there all the time. I do try to go to bathhouses or to like any other like natural water places, or even in more dire circumstances, like private water pools and like tank cisterns, <laughs> like anything that has like water in it. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so you guys have been brought in because you guys are essentially freaks or lawbreakers and, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Joe, I don't know his last name, just Mutton Chop Joe. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Joe Mr. is, Joe. um, Mr. Joe, uh, needs people to do these dangerous jobs and most sane people don't want to do them. And so he strikes a deal to get criminals and freaks who can't get work anywhere else to do his bidding for him um and so that's how you guys ended up getting your jobs we can explore that later but essentially 
you know, aside from the brothel um, that that Rin runs, you know, like he was like, well, hey, you know, typically I need someone who can, who I can rely on. So he has Rin along for the ride. Um, so let's go to uh, let's go to the scene where you guys are in the office with Mr. Mr. Joe, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Uh, Chop Joe. I'm just not used to saying it out loud yet. So. <laughs> You see, you see, Mr. Joe, he's at his desk. He's got his feet up on the desk. You know, he's kind of like just twiddling his thumbs. He's rotating his thumbs forward. And after a while, he 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 lets out like a long breath and then sucks a lot of air in again. And then starts twiddling his thumbs the other direction. And then like he sees you guys come in. He goes, Whoa. um, hey, yeah, uh, hey, yeah, uh, what's your, uh, who are y'all again? Chop it. It's Cutter and. Oz and I don't know who this this lady is. Yeah. Uh and he starts rubbing the bald spot on his head real hard and he's like, Yeah, you're like um uh you don't want the whorehouse. Chops, we've been here before we I was expecting to be out of this town a week ago. You told me you got a week to get clients. I am I'm ready to leave I'm fixing to leave now. Me and Oz need to get out of oh, town. No. Yeah. Oh no, I have a job. I'm just trying to remember who y'all is. Um, Jeez. he points to Cassie. Are you the one that lives in the water? Uh, who? The one at the whore who? House? Who is I'm he? Sorry, I'm sorry, Rand. He points <laughs> to Rand. Rand, I'm in, I'm are you the, the one at the whore house or in the water? I'm at the whore house. Oh, I'm at the whore house too. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. That's fine. We, we I ain't got no money. Right there. <laughs> you you bring everybody. How? So, like, are you bringing in a lot of revenue over there, or, um, I mean, uh, I I'm just curious. You know, I wish I did, but everybody seems to not have any money right now, so they're like, we'll put it on my tab. But they never pay. It's really annoying. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I mean, we're doing, we're doing great here, so uh, it's good that you're employed with us, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's why I had to find a second job. Yeah, I mean, I like me a working girl, so uh, good, good, uh, yeah, just good. Anyway, um, I'm sorry, Cutter, y y you want to get out of the town? You you can't now. You work you work for us. I would you like know? to go on a job. I would like to, I, I'm, I'm in need of money, you see, and I would like to just get going and be on my way to wherever we are going. Well, judging by that pistol on your hip there, looks like you found money at some point, right? Well, yes. Everybody has found money at some point in their lives, but sometimes they need more on account of they ain't got no job. And that's on account of what I got going on. Account of. We need all of them. Uh -huh. Right. Well, all right. Listen, I know this is your first job. But let's just go over something real quick. All right. I mean, I hate talking about it. Um, but like it's kind of part of the contract. But y'all know if you turn into deserters, that the decapitators are going to come and hunt you down, right? Well, like, do you know the about the decapitators too? Uh, Cutter, you want to take this one? You want to tell them what the decapitators do? Uh, or um, uh, pass. Do they bake us <laughs> a tasty cake or what? Yeah, well, Ren, you want to take this one? Uh, what did the, what would you think the decapitators do? Would probably take off my head in an instant and make cake yeah. out of it. Uh maybe, maybe if my old Mother Hubbard's store is open, perhaps. But it sounds know, like they're, they're good very at their advanced. Job. They're very good at their job. They're very good hunters that hunt down ne'er do wells and deserters, and we have a contract with them. They make a lot of money to go on watch and take down people who run away from the work. Now, I'm not the one that sends them. I just have to let them know. I mean, I guess I am, but I don't I'm kind of indifferent if you can't tell. So like, you know, I just have to let them know. They send like a carrier pigeon or whatever. Usually they're ravens actually. And they just come with like a note and it's like, hey, we got a job and I just have to check yes or no. And then they fly away. So, you know, just keep your eyes on the skies. If you see the ravens, they're probably following you, you know. So uh, just so you, just so you guys know what's going on. But anyway, I got a job for you. Are you excited, Cutter? Yes. I'm also. 
interested for you to do something. So, uh, listen, you guys got to deliver this, uh, this box here. And he pulls out like a wooden crate. That's got like a bunch of like little rods sticking out of it for like a little cracks of the wood that have like little green pieces of like fabric hanging off of them. Um, and he says, look, I need you to deliver, to deliver this box of green little flags here to lame duck pond, not far from here, probably about a, I don't know, maybe a half a day's ride. And I need you to go and deliver these green flags to them. If they're home, I need you to put the flags in the corpses, right? And if they ain't corpses already, I need you to make them into corpses. All right. Who do the ducks? Oh, sorry. The, 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 the people who live there, um, hang on. He checks his notes. Um, the pussyfoot gang, you guys heard of them? Mm, not really, no. Yes. Oh, you, oh, you have Ren. Just rumors. Well, what have you, what have you heard? Um, they are really mischievous and they're mean. That's all I've heard. <laughs> mean chivious. Wow. Yeah, mischievous. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a $2 a word mischief. right there. I know. It's crazy. Oh. Yeah, they keep pussyfooting around places and people don't like it. So, um, but the, the client one here. question is, and I walk up to his table so I can like barely look over it. What do we get money from this shop? Oh, yeah, you're a short guy, huh? Probably yeah. like, what, four feet? <laughs> um, what do you get for the job? You y'all make about if if you if you use the company camera, which is in your wagon, and take a picture to prove that you delivered the goods at the right place, you get twenty four dollars. You can split between the three of you, which I mean that's little less than a little less than a whorehouse money, but I mean it's still not bad for a, for a day's pay. I'll um, take it. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, oh, so at least ten dollars a piece. <laughs> it's at somewhere I, I i don't i don't have my math magician with me right now to go over that but my accountant will show up eventually um but yeah it'll be 24 dollars for the group of you and then uh you know you can do whatever you want with it i don't care how you live your life as long as you just don't abandon your post so um can you pop out yeah. throw in another extra for me no <laughs> that's just a no we've already talked about this you're you're under my thumb there son you're trying to you're trying to haggle with me already on your first job yes i, I, I pat Osram. Awesome. no we're no we're not we we don't got no room to be haggling Osram. Awesome. we ain't got no room to be haggling uh i'm just curious if you can <laughs> are you able to mail the checks to the to the town there when we, after we're done or, or pay bills checks, or you're just gonna get paper money man can you mail it is there an office out that way we can just go to and turn it in no you gotta you gotta bring the picture back here to show me that you finished the work. Why did I? Just, uh, okay, well, that's f- fine, fine, fine. Now, what do you the think this is? Are they just going to let you telegraph it to me? I had hoped something of that nature. <laughs> what, what's that, Ran? The the camera will be camera kind of big to carry, right? Yeah, it'll be in it'll be in the wagon. Y'all can set it up okay. after you do your job and just t- snap a picture. Okay, just, just making photo. sure we have transportation. Oh yeah, y'all got a y'all will have a wagon. You got a trusty okay. steed. Um, I ever I don't remember what its name was, but I mean it'll do the thing it's supposed to do. Uh, you know, which is pull a wagon. That's what horses is born for, right? I'm gonna name him Bitey. Bitey. What yeah. if it doesn't bite? I don't care. His name's Bitey. <laughs> 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 All right, write that down. Horse name is Bitey. Because <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I mean, you never, you know, horse do have them big teeth. You never know. They're flat, but they hurt. They do um, hurt. I've seen a fella yeah. get his whole hand bit off once. Yeah. Well, that's good for you. Was it from well, a horse or was it from like a, was like a crocodile or a coyote or something? Uh, well, I've seen coyote do it too, but I've seen a horse do it. Oh, man. I hope Bitey don't do that. They're dangerous. I don't care. Why'd you have to yeah, name him Bitey? Now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> well, he might be the uh, look, opposite yeah, of his to... name. He might lick you instead. You never know. You're like, he be careful, be it's Bitey. He might be Licky. You never know. You can change the name. Hey, if you, hey <laughs> if you don't have one of the if you don't have one of the girls at the at the brothel named Licky yet, you should. <laughs> I'm working on that. I only that's, have that's Sucky and Backy. <laughs> 
<laughs> right. I, I shall <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, take a trip to go see Sucky. Maybe I'll close up. I mean, it's, <laughs> you know what? It's already it's already like nine a. Yeah, it's already like nine a.m. That's a long ways to walk. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> um. Anyways, look, yeah, just go plant the flags inside the bodies, and if the bodies ain't dead, I need you to make them dead. Okay, that's what the client wants. Uh, no questions asked. Just go plant the bo- plant the flags in the bodies. Take a picture. Come on home. All right. Any questions? And he like kind of peers down. He kind of gives a little bit of a of a of an awkward look to Ostrom. He's like. Look, I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier, but I just can't pay you any more than what you're already getting paid. You're already getting paid the elite package. All right. We're elite, All right. guys. Yeah, look, I did a little bit of like workshopping because it's hard to keep people alive around here. So I thought if you knew you was getting $8, hey, listen, the group before you, those poor sons of... B- well, never mind. Just the, the, the group before you, just they uh, only were getting paid like $3 per mission. So, or per delivery. Suckers. So, you're making a pretty decent amount in hopes that maybe it'll inspire you to, you know, not die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, just remember that those greenbacks, and you'll be you'll be good as gold. Hey, if y'all find if y'all find gold, I mean, I mean, it'd be nice to have actually. But I, I mean, what? A, yeah, I mean, if you find it, if you want to bring it. But to be fine. honest with you, I don't think I would share it with you, anyways. <laughs> uh, well, I appreciate your I appreciate your honesty, and I'll make a note of that for when I don't want to share things with you. <laughs> That's totally fine. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, give me that little box, and then we just, let's let's get on stepping out of here. All right, let's go. All right. All right here's here's your box, and uh, yeah, your 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 horse is parked in the garage. Um, <laughs> and- <laughs> <laughs> in the garage <laughs> it's one of those two dollar words <laughs> you, fill, you fill it up for me <laughs> that was a little low. gas is so expensive yeah, but- right now guys we can't take the horse fuck it let's walk <laughs> yeah you know listen <laughs> yeah you know hey ain't cheap you gotta keep a feel <laughs> You know how much it costs to get carrots to keep that thing moving? Oh yeah they're up, they're up to five cents a bushel will you believe that <laughs> man it's a fucking rip. If I weren't so indifferent, I would talk to someone about it. <laughs> but it's a lot of effort. All right. It is. Thank you, Chop. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that my name? I forgot. Well, I ain't going to tell you much, Chop. That's too Chop long. Too much talking. <laughs> you know, I was born with a name, but I, actually, I, you know, I don't care. You, you, you can call me whatever. It's You're fine. Just go on and get. Yeah, yeah. Go on, go on and get. I mean, or stay. It's fine. I'm going to take a nap, by the way, whether you leave or not. Oh, my goodness. This man making my head go around a circle. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> I'm so getting a shirt you called Mutton Chop Joe. I just <laughs> Mutton Chops on the shirt. It's <laughs> yeah. got, like got like a little reflective surface. So if somebody looks into your shirt, it shows them with Mutton Chops. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look into my belly and get mutton chops. Look at us doing fucking <laughs> uh, merch already. There we go. Um, all right, so you guys head out of the Phony Express. Yep, I... heading out. Where you? Where? Where you headed? You going to do the garage? I mean, the barn. Uh, to the li- to <laughs> delivery garage. It's stay, stay the garage <laughs> barn. <laughs> all right, the Phony Express has their garage slash barn right across the street, uh, the main street, which is known as uh, Main Doodad Street. Um, and uh yeah there's a there's a little barn over there again it's sizable it could probably fit a couple of extra horses but there's only the one with a with a buggy also in there ready to be be there. to it oh well i mean if you didn't park him in there then he ain't in there right, he's parked outside <laughs> Did you there. park him in there i parked him outside all right <laughs> okay <laughs> come on but i said there's only butternut and bitey i mean if he has a horse did you buy a horse with your money that you started with i did not tell me did you looks like he walked <laughs> I assume if you, you didn't get buy the a horse with me. If you, you, well, you get a horse and buggy. <laughs> if you I want mean, to take I'm your only own part horse, Android, you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I mean, so so uh, did Cutter buy his own horse? He sure damn did. All right. Well, Cutter has a horse. <laughs> then I'll so, just ride with you. <laughs> so uh, you have a horse and a buggy and a horse and buggy. Either, either <laughs> no, you, you have a horse and a horse and buggy. Horse and horse and a buggy. <laughs> Uh, either yeah. you, either you ever drive one of these suckers before? 
Did I say suckers back then? I do. Suckers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from, I'm from Tennessee. We said suckers. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've written uh, quite a times before. You know, either you guys know how to drive one of these doodads? Yeah. I'm sure I can figure water. it out pretty easily. Bunch of times. <laughs> You see, you see, uh, uh, Rin, you hear like ye- a yell from down the street. You see Sucky pokes her head out <laughs> of, of the brothel. <laughs> and she's like, do you not need me to ride for you? I can drive it if you want. We're kind of slow in here. <laughs> no, you have to stay and take care of the place. You and stay suck. here and suck. Literally. Yes. <laughs> and you have one pain. job. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why my parents gave me this name and cursed me to a, <laughs> cursed me to a life of servitude. <laughs> a life of sucking. <laughs> Oh it's like God. girls that get named Diamond. You know that they're automatically right. destined to be a stripper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Destiny. Destiny. <laughs> well, yeah, well, destiny Mer- is. <laughs> <laughs> Porsche. Wiener. Yeah. Wiener rider. Wiener rider. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was just reading a list of potential applicants. <laughs> How did you get into my files? I, I mean, you. And she just sneaks back in the door. Fuck <laughs> the lock off. <laughs> I gotta talk to Wiener Rider. <laughs> it's like Winona Rider, but Wiener Rider. <laughs> well, Wiener Rider versus Winona. Uh, okay, this Wiener. was the best idea ever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, you two. All right, get up on the get up on the box there. That coach, and you guys drive us or the whatever the heck it is. Ain't no stage coach. I mean, nah, it's just, it's just a little, a little yeah, it's just like a little, um, one of those buggies that has like the kind of tent over top of it that kind of hides, like obscures some of, you know, what you have because they, they try to keep their deliveries private. So right. I um, chuck the box back in there with flags. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I think, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> um, and Rin so, just, like, um, so you guys out a book. How to drive a stagecoach. <laughs> <laughs> it's in it's in the glove step, box. Oh, yeah. Step one, get a stagecoach. <laughs> oh, come on. on. <laughs> we are on right, top of this, ahead. guys. <laughs> you can do it. Do either of you have a riding or a driving skill like uh, Rin or so Ostrom? I, I have a riding skill. Uh, you have a riding skill? Does, yeah. does Rin, do you have a riding skill? No. <laughs> uh, I mean, you both can roll to see if you if you can kind of get the hang of it. Gosfem, do you want to roll for a for a uh, for a riding skill to see if you can? Figure a it out? Holy free. fuck! You rolled a twenty three and eight plus eight plus seven. You have an eight in riding. Jesus! Yes. Oh my god, um, nice. Adrian! Your name is Hatched Man. No, you put the Hatched Man like you had from an egg. <laughs> I mean, he is a li- like a, 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 rep- a scaly boy from the lakes. So <laughs> from from Dicky Lake. Don't forget it. Oh. Oh, do I Man, it. Rin, Rin needs to set up her, her brothel on Dicky Lake. Could probably get more. <laughs> I, I really <laughs> think maybe, maybe I would. Like crazy. <laughs> I need more clients. I have money. <laughs> yeah, for reals. Put it on um, my dad. Okay, oh, so. Lee. Yeah, put it on my dad. <laughs> 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 so you, uh, you guys, uh, so are uh, you guys both sitting up in the front? Uh, Ren, are you sitting in the back uh, since Ostrom has to drive, or are you sitting up front with him? Um, I'll sit in the back and take a nap with the camera. All right, nice. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big boy. Half the half the storage space back there is this fucking big ass box camera and all of its yeah. tripods and shit that you have to set up and the bulbs. There's like a box of bulbs. Uh, that you have to use to replace every time you take a picture. Oh uh, my god! <laughs> you got that giant cone you got to put up and everything. Yeah, <laughs> it takes like twenty five minutes to set up. <laughs> we got to get them like, oh, yeah. get them all together. Yeah, Rin's he's definitely gonna, like, gonna get them all together. Out how to like turn this camera into? Because she's got like this um, thing on her hat to where it's kind of like a, almost like a scope. So she's gonna like try to figure out how she can kind of tinker with this to like 
put it on somewhere on her hat so that they don't have to like move all of this equipment around. But she's That's not going to fuck idea. with it too bad. <laughs> You're trying to figure out how to make it more mobile by like having it like on have me. it work from your brain on yeah. you. <laughs> Yeah, this yeah. big ass fucking box that yeah. you can like mount it on your back. Yeah, like take the lens and just kind of like disassemble it, and, like MacGyver it to where like it it <laughs> like takes a picture and then pops out like my chest or something. That'd be hilarious. Be awesome. <laughs> hey, 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 you know what? You know what? Why don't we? Why don't we have you do a repair roll, a repair okay. or uh, some sort of yeah? Repair is usually what we use for like tinkering with shit. Um, I would actually so love if the photos roll. come out of your mouth. Uh, oh, she rolled a four on her wild die, which is a standard success. Um, for those of you listening, fours are usually good, or multiples cool. of fours are good. Um, so you rolled a four, a basic four. So yeah, I would say that maybe you don't get it all done right now, but like as you're tinkering with it and effing around with it, you realize like, well, hey, maybe like some of this would work with kind of what I got going on. So I think that the more you keep checking back with it, um like every six we'll just say every so many subsequent successes you have with like tinkering with this you're going to get closer to learning how to do it cool so you're you're now one step closer to making this a more mobile thing all right um and yeah so she's already making like mobile cameras nice. <laughs> yeah <laughs> nice yeah. <laughs> the future is going to change big time with rin big time <laughs> super fast yep. you'll be taking selfies like by the you know 1950 um okay so um so you're tinkering with that you're learning how to turn it into a into a mobile camera and you guys are on your way uh a, a, a cutter why don't you tell us about your like, buttercup what'd you call her butternut butter stuff what was it butternut <laughs> butternut yeah <laughs> tell, tell us about butternut uh she's got a light coat um she likes oh she cold <laughs> yeah uh yeah like a light yeah, hand okay. coat um buckskin if you, if you want to get technical Oh, okay. it. Yeah. Um brown mane, brown tail. Is she like a prized horse? Is she like, you know, did you get her for a deal? No, nah, she's pretty pretty regular. She's just a, just just a regular a, horse. A good, a good a good running horse. Not there's not 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 like nothing too crazy. Okay. Um and so are you gonna be riding ahead? Um since uh, you're a little bit more mobile than no, the rest? I'm gonna ride along for now alongside. Okay. Well, uh, you'll have a little bit of a trip to get there. So if you guys would like to have any sort of conversation or a shout from your horse, uh, if you want to have any sort of interaction, now would be a good right time. The side I'm not going to just talk normal to volumes. Uh, All right. Oh, do normal to volumes. <laughs> to volumes, yes. I would like to, talk, I would like to discuss uh, the following. Uh, Oz, what do you say? I'm, I don't. I don't really like the idea of going up there and just shooting up some. Even if it is a gang, I don't really like the idea of just going up there and shooting up some folks from you know out of nowhere, no reason. Uh, maybe you should really. We should. We need to try on toughening you up, because what if you want to survive out here? You gotta do some things Oz, that are we got maybe some, not so we, pretty. We got some. We got some history with with us always, but I don't. I ain't never been called the opposite. Whatever, <laughs> needing to become more tough. I don't watch it all. Just watch it there, feller. I'm the toughest I, I know. Mean... <laughs> I'm going to stare that I'm thin skinned. <laughs> that wasn't a personal attack, but you still kind of critique me there. I don't, I, don't like, I don't like constructive criticism. <laughs> <laughs> That's a surprise. <laughs> Yeah, he's got. He's a. Yeah, he's a very, uh, very sensitive. <laughs> um, I, I ain't nothing to do with toughness. All this is about, you know, just being decent, not going out and shooting somebody out in the back just because some guy with a bunch of mutton chops told you to. I mean, if you find us another chop, I'm down with that. But right now, we are going to do this. Uh, I mean, we're going to get out there and poke around, maybe. But I don't, we're going to look around first before we start blowing holes in some random folk. All right. Well, I couldn't care less about these people, so you can stay in the car, and if you have any problems, you can come out later. Um, um, well, let's, we'll see when we get there, I guess. Oh, we'll see yes. when we get there. Oh, so, Ren, <laughs> what's, what's, uh, what's kind of your, your thing? You can see you have some mechanical parts. I, I like to shoot a lot. And the that sounds uh, cool. I like I like to headshot people. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's not, you're gonna have to teach me how to do that because that sounds like a heck of a lot of fun, you know. I tell you what, but I like, uh, I definitely like my gun. It's it's my favorite. I named her Betsy. She's mm-hmm. she's pretty awesome. So, but yeah, that's my that's my thing. I like to shoot. That's cool. <laughs> and you're also not one of those humans, so I like you. Cool. Yeah. I like you. I like you guys. You're 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 an interesting group of people, and I like inter- interesting groups of people. So I think we're gonna get along just fine. I think that's great. I'm um, being underappreciated for so long, and it's nice to hear something nice once in a while. Absolutely. <laughs> as you guys are as you guys are making your way down the street, like heading up towards uh, Lame Duck Pond. Um, Cutter, you see, you see like a, another guy uh, on a on horseback passing by, and he just tips his head and he goes, "Howdy, howdy, <laughs> howdy," <laughs> <laughs> and he just keeps on a going. <laughs> uh, pleasant trails, you pleasant, know. pleasant trails. I holler back to you, howdy, <laughs> howdy, do as well. I feel great. Thank you for. <laughs> I think I think thought I said how do you do? I said how to do him. Poor then here, he like rides back up and goes, "I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be polite. I was saying I'm fine." <laughs> no, it's, it's quite right. Fella. Actually, I had just said how do you do? How do to you two? Not how do you do? Oh, I'm sorry, and you know, and you can see he kind of has like a he kind of has like like a brass like cone sticking out of one of his ears. <laughs> he says, "I'm sorry. I'm just um I'm not being uh, good at, uh, hard to hear." I like, well, how's it go? I speak towards us. It's, it's all right, old old fella. It just that's one of the things that happens on the road. You know, some of the common misunderstandings on the trail. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I could go for some mail once I'm done with this long trip. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, you, why don't you go on and get back down there to town? They got some good ale, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brothel, Happy trails to you. You say waffles? Bro, go on. Yep, that's what they got. Everybody loves. Waffles. Oh, Dan. Dan Sorry, dang, my horse is turning around again. Ple- pleasant trails to you. But I'm not even going to say anything to him. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's the fucking wind. <laughs> what was that? What did you say? <laughs> you see him, like, as he's driving away, he's, like, yelling at his horse. He's, like, go straight, you ding dong. And then he takes a little, like, brass cone out of his ear and then shoves one in the horse's ear. And he goes, go straight, you ding dong. <laughs> Perfect couple. <laughs> <laughs> That man might not make Dag, it. Dag never. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys uh, ride for a couple hours. It's again, you guys started your trip probably before noon, so it, you'll probably get there. It's about a half a day's ride. Um, so a few hours pass. You're uninterrupted. You're kind of moving along the Montana valleys, or uh, you know, little little nooks between the hills. Um, and uh, you know, what you guys start to pass. Uh, you guys start to pass like some other wagons that are driving to and thro- fro, like, you know, heading back at, back towards town. Um, some of them look like a little bit more, they've w- worse for wear. Um, you do see, um, you do see like one really nice stagecoach like, that dr- starts to drive past you. Um, there's a guy, you know, one of the people, the one of the gentlemen who's driving is in like a very nice, uh, like nice tails, uh, nice hat, uh, big, nice red bow tie, you know, kind of driving the stagecoach. Um, and he, he doesn't, he doesn't look your way, but like, <laughs> as you say, howdy, he doesn't even look at you. He just, gonna, just keeps going. He's very, very professional businessman, um, heading in towards doodad, um, a couple hours out after they pass. I spit off side of <laughs> <laughs> He's still in town when you get back. We should pay him a visit. I wouldn't like to. He's not nice, but he probably <laughs> has nice things. I, like, I start like doing like a lowering my hands I'm like keep, all right, I'll keep, we're already on the dodge as it is keep it to call about the things that people have that we might like to have right <laughs> you gotta do things uh, to have things well, uh so you guys you guys come to you guys come to uh to a, like a fork in the in the in the trails um one leads up one leads straight uh, the way that you're going um, which way do you want to go to continue your trek to, uh, now, dang, dang. uh you, <laughs> Mutton chop didn't say nothing about no fork in the road. <laughs> yeah, it's quite inconvenient. Um, 
Anybody, anybody, any, oh, is that fucking asshole with a fancy bow tie still a little further now that I can ride down and ask him directions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're still down there. You just passed them. So right, I'm, I'm going to run. I'm going to, uh, you, you guys hang, hang out here. I'm going to ride back and ask that super friendly man with the nice things what, where to go. <laughs> Yeah, that was bitey. <laughs> easy bitey, easy. We'll be, we'll be back. He like starts like you hear that you hear that sound of like you know just like on Dark Souls of like teeth snashing together with yes. uh, with the lizard. <laughs> 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 that, was, that was a good name, Rin. All right, I'm gonna get out, get out of here. <laughs> He's so mouthy. So you're gonna ride back. Most so mouthy. <laughs> he's almost all teeth. <laughs> he's, like, he's like Steve Buscemi up there. Yes. Um, <laughs> or uh, Gary Busey. <laughs> Gary oh <my> Busey. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like a fucking weird old eye and he probably says racist things in horse. All the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> what is so he this is humans, right? Um, I know. So, right? This um, horse is perfect for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, um, yeah, he did. He did pick the the, the horse speech um, trait when he was <laughs> making his character. Uh, so you ride your horsey, you ride butternuts back down to uh, back down towards the stagecoach. You catch up pretty easily. They're not in any sort of hurry. They're just moving at a gradual pace that you do when you're just going down the trails. I, I, I give them a wave. I say, "Oh, hey, uh, excuse me, excuse me, there, folks. Sorry to bother you." He just keeps going. Sir, sir, I need to ask some directions, please. We can we can keep on riding, <laughs> sir. I look and I look and I look and I look and I look inside the carriage. I like whoever's sitting there, I like knock on the window. Excuse me, anybody in there? I need some directions. You see, like this very this very kind of pixie faced woman, like kind of leans her head forward, um, and she's got like curly blonde hair and like a little blue bonnet on. Uh, and a really, from what you can tell anyway, uh, like kind of like a really big floofy dress. And she says, um, could you kindly not touch my window, please? Uh, yes, by all means, as long as anybody could tell me where the heck to find lame duck pond. Well, go ask the driver, you swine. Well, I've, I've been trying, but he ain't responding to my speaking to him. Well, perhaps... He doesn't wish to speak to you, and you should look elsewhere for your information, sir. Meh. Now, turn away. <laughs> Did you just scoff at me, you ruffian? I'm already turning away and riding off. It's not a horse my horse face. <laughs> it's got yeah, like, as you're, as, you're, as, you're, as you're trotting away, she leans out the window, and she says, That's right, you ugly brute. Don't come near my car again. And she like shoves her head back in the window. Rin's just gonna reach her head out. Rude. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right here. Bunch of so and so. You see, you, you see the driver like in the distance as they drive away, just like flip the bird like with his left hand like off the side of the car. <laughs> Rin's gonna do the same thing with her her android <laughs> robot arm. Just yeah, back to you, fucking buddy. <laughs> you just hear like a. As the cart stops, and like you hear, you hear just like now. You just hold on one minute, and then you um. As like as cutters coming back, like you guys are sitting there in your cart, you can see it, another man. Um, what looks like what looks like some kind of rifle in his hands. Uh, also, oh, I shot mine out of my, well. my saddle scabbard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't aim it, but I'm, I got it ready. He comes out and he says, "Now I demand that you come and you apologize to the missus right now." Rin's just gonna take out her gun and start patting it with her uh, robot hand. <laughs> like, I don't think I need to really apologize for anything, actually. Oh, you're some type of... Oh, I don't even know. Some sort of uh, freak of some sort. Yep, hey. sure am. Keep it coming, buddy. How much distance is there between us? Uh, well, he's back by the stagecoach that was going away from you guys. So yeah. he's probably maybe, I don't know, probably like 60 yards out. And he's like shouting over to Cutter, who's like 
he's he's like seeing the shininess of 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 Rin's arm as she's like leaning out the back of the wagon. Talking a lot of shit for somebody within shooting range. <laughs> 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 he says, "I demand that you apologize." Me. I'm sorry. What? What? What was? What was that to the freak? Um, you're gonna taste a bullet in a minute if you don't shut your mouth and go the fuck away. I, I never heard such awful speak from. Actually, that's not true. Anyone in his whole entire state has been nothing but foolish and uncleanly and just gross. Yeah, well, well, it takes you don't one have to stay here. Why don't you, yeah, why don't you get on going? Well, you stopped us, you ruffian. I'm pretty sure no. you're the one who uh, hit the brakes there, buddy. So uh, if uh, you don't want to, you know, feel Betsy, you can just keep on uh, going. Well, I would very much like to feel... Oh, that's the wrong person. I would very much like to feel Betsy, but she is back at uh, Doodad and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I am very much looking forward to it, but that's none of your business. <laughs> How about you get so, going, or I speak it ugly because I don't have time for you. Are you th- what? What sort of crazy out- outfit is this anyway? You little munchkin hooded failer. Uh, hey. She just pulls out her gun and just shoots it towards <laughs> the sky, and says, I'm I've had enough of this guy. <laughs> 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 he like ducks he like ducks and goes and runs behind the 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 stagecoach and you like you hear him like and he like cocks his gun he's like oh, now this enough. doesn't have to this doesn't have to get violent it don't well you yeah, just started it. it what do you say you guys just apologize to the missus and then we'll be on our way how about she apologized to us first she was the first one being rude you stopped our cart we stopped your cart yourself. Yeah. Well, you bothered our cart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gonna, guys, you, I'm over want? this guy. He's obviously not going to do anything. So let's just keep going because this guy's annoying me. Um, I'm gonna try we have that. work to do. Yeah, I was just saying, like, I just keep on riding in the other direction. Okay, just taking the wagon away. Yeah, what are we gonna do, Cutter? <laughs> well, not now. I was I was gonna I was gonna try and use intimidation, but now my my other my half my intimidation is walking away. So, <laughs> we, we, you ain't worked time, fella. Get on your little well, wagon and roll out of here. Well, he he points he points the gun at you as you go to turn away, and he says, "Yes, well, that's right. You better run. Uh, otherwise, you'll get you'll get um, the, the the all of the police. You don't know who you're dealing with." <laughs> Rin just flips who him you, off again. <laughs> who you calling yellow, you son of a bitch? <laughs> well, I can't tell in this light because uh, it's very bright on my eyeballs. But I would say that you are very grotesque. Look at that beard, gross. What do you? Looks like you. Looks like you. Sh- you you shaved it from your bottom and put it on your face. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, I'll let you give me a negative, but I had my like my rifle <laughs> over my over my like lap, and I'm just gonna like pull it up and just shoot at him. You're gonna shoot at him? <laughs> <laughs> He's uh. Here, what, what, would you like me? To, how about I roll like a spear to see if I'm, my thin skin is letting me uh, f- get get a. Uh, I mean, hurt. you could do whatever you want. Yeah, I, 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 yeah I'm gonna shoot at him. <laughs> um, so, what's the range on your on your? What are you using? Uh, my my carbine. It's twenty forty eighty. Twenty forty eighty. Okay, yeah. Well, it'll it would be your mid range, so that would be a minus two to the shot, um, because he's definitely not within 20, 20 feet of you. Is right. it twenty feet or yards? I forget what they have it in. Twenty yeats. <laughs> twenty yeats. Probably, probably <laughs> wow. Probably well, beats. you're definitely not. You're definitely not within twenty yeats of him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat a bullet over yeet? your way, fella. <laughs> So it's going to be a minus two to the shot, but you, a, st- you need a four to hit. I'm a yeet shooter. Let me see if I can do a shooter. minus two. And you're shooting yeast. <laughs> yeast. <laughs> oh, thank God for that wild well, you're roll- Damn. well, you're fucking, you, you scored pretty big on your wild Well, you aced twice. That's why. Jesus Christ. Oh. Um, uh, yeah. So go ahead and roll damage on that. Plus that's an extra bonus die because that's well more than what you need to hit him. What, what nice. I don't know how it works with shooting. Yeah, it's a bonus d6 for acing on your. All right, there's my main damage ten. He's fucked. Plus plus five. That's fifteen. Get fucked. Uh, 
All I can tell you, I can tell you a bonus. <laughs> well, no, it, already, it already rolled. Uh, yeah. It already rolled the bonus right, damage. Right, right. So that's 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 a fifteen. Um, so yeah, that's way more than what his toughness is. He's wearing a fucking nice like <laughs> a suit. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, just he's not particularly ready <laughs> yeah you just like you just shoot a hole his, his toughness is probably like fucking like five so like <laughs> you fucking shot through him and he just goes my word and then just like drops over in like a pile of blood <laughs> I'll just hold up the cart <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just go over and put a green flag on him <laughs> <laughs> it's like Got one. you see you see the you see, you see the wagon, just like the driver up front. You just hear "go, go," and then like, it's like the fucking like the stagecoach starts like peering away, uh, and here, and they just like try peering up. <laughs> Noise polluter. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. They roll. just leave the man I'm dead. Gonna, I'm gonna roll him for his ammo and his gun. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, he's probably using like a standard carbine, um, like a standard like. Um, what kind of rifle would that be? Like, you know, like the old timey uh, common rifle that they would use. My car, uh, my, my carbine's like I think it's the most generic one. It's fifty two caliber. Yeah, it's probably something like that. It's probably like a standard carbine. Nice. Um, how much bullets he got on his body? I don't know. Roll a d, roll a d twelve, and we'll see how much Ooh. he has. That's at least some twelve. You rolled well. Oh, nice. I found a, I found a full <laughs> nice. cartridge. You found a full. You found a, a full. full, he, full yeah, he just. Yeah, he, he well, there's there, yeah, just a full box. He had one in the chamber and 12, you know, in a little, little in his pocket for some reason. What a fool. He didn't even load his gun the whole way. <laughs> yeah, damn, he fired his blank. Um, yeah, so he's just laying there in a pile of blood. He's in like a nice suit. Uh, <clears throat> hey, y'all, uh, you want to help me roll with this fella into like a ditch or something? At least get him sort of maybe treat him a little right. And he's he was a dick, but at least he got well, he was a not a dick. What would they say back then? He was a, a bit of a, a bit of a curmudgeon, but. At least respect the dead, I suppose. <laughs> no, he sure was a rooster. <laughs> that, that's uh, just continue riding. I start. I, I just like sort of kick him with my shoe, and, like roll his body over down like the little slope of the road. Okay, then he just, just kind of like falls down into a ditch. <laughs> should should have um, watched you call Yeller, feller. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> He's gonna start farting pretty soon. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> His body's fart. I don't know if y'all know that. <laughs> All right, so you've committed murder. All right, so uh, good. Well, you've done that. So now, what do you do? Do you want to go back to the trail and go? Sh- you were originally starting to do this for directions. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I just wanted to know where Lame Duck Pond was. <laughs> <laughs> so Rin, you guys like- are. Uh, just pat him huh? on the back. Randall, just pat him on the back. It's it's all right, buddy. And yeah, I thought you were soft, but killing a man in cold blood like that, I'm impressed. Yeah, hey, that's, hey, that's, hey, it wasn't no cold blood. He he had a gun out. It was not really self-defense, but it was still, you know, he drew a gun. Can't be doing that out here. <laughs> nah. Totally, totally self-defense. We got your back, buddy. Yes. <laughs> I heard him cock it. He was uh, loaded. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Or he was just really good. He's really good at doing sound effects. He just made it sound like he got it. I had the sound I've heard many times. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so you guys are going to continue uh, up the hill or straight forward? I guess we just keep going straight. Uh, I, mean, I guess we keep going straight. What do you think? Yeah, I think straight is good. Yeah. All right. So you, you go straight and you go, you, you, you ride for probably about another 45 minutes or so. Um, it's definitely past noon at this point, probably, probably like getting closer to one or two o'clock. Um, and uh, you, you, again, you see some more people passing through, taking different roads. You know, the, the street's relatively busy for this time of day. You know, there's a lot of people riding to and fro, doing their thing. You pass like a couple like little, little farmsteads where people were, you know, you know, hoeing, hoeing the ground, doing some plantings, things like that. <laughs> At the risk of getting in trouble again. Is there yeah. anyone like near the road doing their hoeing and tilling? Oh yeah. There's like a little homestead, not far off. Like, you know, that it's like a little shack that they built like on some property and they're just, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a gentleman out front um, with his wife and they're, you know, he's like, he's, he's, he's doing some hoeing in the, in the garden and she's bringing, bringing him a fresh and his cup like, of water. What are you doing? out there get them hoes out of there <laughs> hoes belong in the brothel 
<laughs> Get back to my place. <laughs> yeah. I'm, do- I'm doing home visits. <laughs> is that is that that who are from matching carpets? <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, like you see a gentleman, he's he's shirtless. He's like he's out there hoeing. He's he's very ripped, very, very strong looking gentleman. Sweaty. Little sweaty and a little hairy little on the back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And um and uh yeah, the wife comes out, she's also a little hairy. And um <laughs> right. she um yeah, she comes out, uh she's a she's a dwarven woman, that's why. Um little little dwarvish gal. And she's like she's coming out and she's like, uh, I've, I've got some water for you. And he's like, rah, rah, you. And then he, <laughs> he's a human man. Uh, <laughs> I'm a human male. <laughs> and so he's doing he's doing some hoeing. So if you want to go talk to someone, he's probably the closest bet. He uh, and he and his little dwarven wife. Are right, you 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 guys slow up the wagon a little bit there, uh, Oz? I'll come I'll come catch up to you. I'll go ask this fella if you got any directions for us. All, All right. right then. Uh, and I ride over. I slowly All right. I walk my horse as slow as possible into their into their yard. <laughs> All um, right. Um howdy. Oh, um uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, good day. Uh, to you as well. Uh me and my associates there was we was doing some deliverings and whatnot, so we're hoping to find a uh, lame duck pond, but we seem to not be certain of the location. Any any help you can give me would be much a much obliged. Well, I ain't, I'm familiar with uh, exactly where the pond is, but I know what's up on the hill. I remember it's uh, it's up it's upwards, uh, but I ain't been up there since the Pussyfoot Gang went and taken over. Oh yeah, oh I heard something about them. What's what's what are the, what's their whole thing? I mean, I'll be honest with you. I mean, frankly, I don't think they're that like skilled, but the fact that it's a bunch of morons with guns like makes it kind of scarier. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, They're going to hurt themselves and everyone around them. I met a moron with a gun earlier today, in fact. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Uh, you, you, yeah you, some... you, smell a, you smell a bit of gunpowder, so I was wondering if maybe you had seen some stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm still here, and he is not to be seen, so you can imagine the outcome of that. But anyway, who's... Uh, uh, and you hear the, 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 the little wife, like, peering out the door, goes, Oh, my! Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to discuss uh, uh, violence in front of the missus. I know women. Well, no, are it's about... fine. She lo- she she loves violence. She's dwarven. Oh. She loves that. She oh. loves it. All right. She get along yeah, with she my kicks my ass in wrestling every night. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair enough. Uh, yeah. we, we have our own league. We do in the backyard. <laughs> just just the two of us. <laughs> uh, well, I like to come out in different outfits, and uh, she's always the crusher. <laughs> <laughs> the freaky people. She, she uses her thighs <laughs> to crush my head. <laughs> I have to change my character every time because she kills my other characters. I let her win. <laughs> um, uh, that's that's mighty interesting. Uh, glad to hear you're having a good fun in your in your marriage and keeping it f- fresh. I suppose. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, baby. So uh, these these fellas, what or these this gang here, when they cause trouble for local 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 peoples, what's Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I tell you what. I mean, hey, forgive, forgive me, forgive me. Uh, you know, I'm I'm Chase. What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry. I I, I lean down and give him, put my hand out to firm shake. My name's Cutter. Cutter O'Toole. He gives you a real good firm handshake, and he kind of pulls you a little closer. And he oh. says, "You're a mighty good looking man, there, Cutter." Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a bit scruffy. I usually keep myself trim, but I haven't had to haven't haven't seen a razor in many days. Oh, I know. I understand. You know, I stopped shaving my back after I realized that the missus loves it. Ah, yeah. Well, we got got to do what you got to do for the ladies, I suppose. Uh, uh, hey, I tell you what, that makes the world go around. You know what I mean? It's true. It's true. Um, so uh, any other any little bits? In, cause we got to go out that way. Anything else you can tell me about them pussy footers? Oh, the pussy footers. I mean, I, I don't know a whole lot about them, except that they're just a bunch of idiots with guns. But uh, uh I mean, honestly, uh, look between between you and me and the missus, who's uh, you know probably getting aroused while we're talking about this. Um, <laughs> I got to go wrestler right after this now. <laughs> yeah, he's already pulling out like a domino mask and putting it on his face. He's like, "Here we go, right, just get ready." <laughs> and he's like, "He's like, um, listen," and like he's already putting on like some leather gloves <laughs> as he's talking to you. He's like, "Look, um." 
All I know is they're a bunch of idiots with guns. And frankly, between you, me, and the missus, uh, the world ain't going to miss them. You know what I mean? Uh, they're mm-hmm. just, they're ne'er-do-wells who are not good at being ne'er-do-wells, aside from the fact that there's plenty of them to do ne'er-do-well things. Oh, that's a good uh, thought. How many of them is there up there? Oh, God, man, I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not their. I'm not their. Their, their rough, accountant. What's uh, what's the rough rumor around the town? I mean, anytime we've ever seen them riding around, um, there's at least half a dozen or more. Oh, okay. Um, they done anything big lately? Anything that might anger some folks? Uh, you know what they did the other day? Actually, is they uh they were they've been knocking over pedestrians with oh. their horses. Well, that ain't that's that's not nice at all. No, it's not very nice at all, and uh, you know, old Felicia Tippins, she uh, broke her hip when they knocked her over. Oh, my word! Hmm. Yeah, we thought it was ironic because her name's Tippins. They um, tip them. Done, <laughs> it's done, I mean, here I'm, I'm from, from, from the house. <laughs> poor, poor woman, but that is that that is a little entertaining. Yeah, she ended up dying from an infection. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Still kind of funny though. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> actually, she's actually she's buried under the garden here to help our plants grow. Oh, well, at least she's still contributing, uh, even yeah, after. Yeah, her, yeah. She didn't have any family, so we just thought she we she could contribute to uh, more turn, life. You know? Might as well turn her fertilizer. <laughs> yeah. Turn her, turn her classic fertilizer. And it was... uh, uh, well, thank you, uh, there, Chase. You've been mighty helpful. Um, we'll we'll be careful up there, and. Uh, uh, good, good luck with your wrestling. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. And he takes off. He starts to pull down his pants and like, he has like a little, <laughs> like little tights on. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, just, I just got to wearing them all the time now. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when, uh, when it's time to wrestle. So while uh, that was happening, I want to try and like sneak into like the kitchen and get some food. <laughs> the, the, you're gonna have to roll a really high sneak roll. The fucking the 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 wife's right there in the goddamn doorway. <laughs> it's freaking uh, IG. Uh, over again. So I, I imagine this that, that they are up out in the garden, and I could sneak in from like the back door or the window and grab something. And she's so aroused that her ears are not. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to think if they would be if they would have a back door, being like a like a poor farming couple. Um. They probably have some kind of maybe maybe winder, perhaps. Um, it's um, yeah, you know what? They probably have some shutters on their windows. You might be able to sneak in, but but again, the wife's right there, and it's not like a big old ranch home. It's just like a one or two roomed house. So um, it's gonna. Have, I'm gonna. Um, you know what? It's, it's gonna be a minus two roll to try to get out the cart and sneak around and jump in there without them noticing that you're in there. A seven. That's a seven minus two, which Thanks. makes you to five. It's still a standard success. So I'm going to say that you can you can pop up into that window, um, pretty pretty okay, I suppose. It's okay. not going to be like the the greatest job you've ever done trying to be a sneaky boy. Um, but Dude, um, get but yeah. Pie. <laughs> there's a, there's a pot, fresh baked pie on the windowsill. <laughs> yeah, pie fixes everything. Okay, then I'll, I'll get the pie and like maybe a bunch of apples. Yeah. All right, so you're just gonna rob these poor farming people? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So um, you uh, yeah, so you get inside um, and you're just gonna start taking pie and 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 fruit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So you're robbing these people. Excellent. Um, okay. So can you make me a um, uh, while you're, while you're doing that? Can you make me a general? Let's call it. Um, oh, I don't know. Um, just a general notice roll. How about notice? Let's say eleven. That's an eleven. Mm. Um, you've you've been spending more time taking things than you probably realize you have been, <laughs> like just like rooting through their stuff. And then again, the, the missus like kind of comes back in, so like you can hear her making her way back towards the kitchen, and she's going, "I'm so excited for pie, I'm so excited <laughs> for pie and some wrestling." <laughs> So well, my I... big strong man's gonna be so excited to get some pie and also this sweet dessert I've made. Got <laughs> the things and bolt out the door. 
<laughs> you're gonna bolt that well she doesn't have a back door they only have a window so you have to jump back out the window and i bolt out of the window <laughs> all right can you make me an athletics roll to jump out the window before they can see that's you? a well, four. You just barely passed you, oh. you jump out you make it out the window but like like you definitely make a lot of noise <laughs> <laughs> just like knocking over shit busting through me and you know, chase are probably like, what was that <laughs> <laughs> yeah like so a, like I, and like, she's like mushed <laughs> yeah <laughs> and she, uh, you just hear like as like she you 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 jump through the window and you sprint away you hear what in the hell my pie <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, and um <laughs> and then you hear yeah uh cutter is like you know chase is walking away you just you, you just hear honey honey there's something wrong with your beautiful pie and he like sprints in <laughs> <laughs> and, I went, and I went to Kata. get in get in <laughs> I watched him, watch him, watch him run across the yard I'm like oh my god <laughs> my well good luck with that uh, sorry to hear about your troubles I'm, I'm gonna head on my way yeah yeah congratulations on your marriage <laughs> Just, <laughs> <come on. laughs> I think he was confused <laughs> And then you, as you guys are like heading back out, you hear like screaming in the distance, like, I trusted you. Y'all rubbed us. <laughs> and you Sorry. hear like loud weeping. Goodbye, though. <laughs> don't, don't, oh, my God. <laughs> I do. <laughs> also, pick it into high gear. Kick it and whip that horse up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Feed us some carrots to get it moving. <laughs> However it works. It, just, also, it, just, it sounds like it sounds like putting wood in a wood chipper when you give them the carrots like <laughs> 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 Um so you guys are riding away now, up the hill, I suppose. Now what were, what were you doing, Osram? It was so important you had to go in there and break people's windows and all this you was doing. Stealing pies? You, you, you know Hi. we have a new member in our team and I just want to get to get her some food. Uh, oh, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. I just want to turn back around and like give friend a pie. <laughs> <laughs> and I throw like an apple to cut her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'll feed this to butternut later, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Take y'all anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> And so, uh, so you guys head up the hill towards uh, Lame Duck Pond, it, it yeah. continuing your 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 drive. I'm gonna I'm, I'll, I'll relay all the information I learned as we go. Yeah, sure. About uh, how there's like a little over half a dozen or so of yeah. the, of the boys. They're just a bunch of dumb assholes. Just a bunch of dumb assholes. <laughs> uh, That's so, what um, I'm not. Yeah. And then uh, you go a little farther up, and then. Um, uh, would say it's probably like getting close to the four, four thirty ish, and then you kind of start to see as you're kind of going up a little bit more of an incline. Uh, you see as it starts to level out, you can see a nice big, beautiful pond. Um, that's uh, you know, it's probably it's it's, it's sizable for you know your location, and you see that there's some campfires that are still um that look like they're still uh you know still warm from the pre from you know from previous things being cooked and things on it and such like that you see like a setup where like there's like a soup can or a soup uh, pot like hanging over the fire um you know we're cooking some soup um you see a couple of people of of a very you know a couple of halfland folk and uh, mostly other humans that are kind of walking to and fro and one of them's like beating on some leather uh tanning some leather <laughs> just, he just he just bored <laughs> yeah, he just, yeah, he, yeah, he's just, he just getting the leather <laughs> there's not any it's dust coming out anymore it's just no, like man eh, whatever <laughs> I'm yeah it's, it's like a game it's a whole jacket it's just, it's just a jacket hanging off the thing he's just whacking it yeah, it's like ball in a cup but not as fun <laughs> um. So you guys ride up and you can see that there's uh at least from where you're where you guys are currently like headed, you can see at least like four four fellers that are outside. Um the, you know, there's a couple of tents that are like pitched out in the, uh, towards the back end of the pond. But uh pretty much in the open, right? I mean, oh yeah, for the most part, yeah, they're like they're like around the lake, like on the on the right side of the lake. Mm-hmm. Again, they have like their their little camp set up and stuff, like you know their ba- their crates and their yeah, you know their little tents and stuff like that. Um, you know, general general wild westy campsite looking thing. Mm-hmm. Roughly how many you know, looks people? Like people that you can see right now? Four. Okay. 
don't know, hey, why don't we? Yeah, you we... see a couple of halfling folk and a couple of humans that are just you know either beating leather or making soup or you know just like chilling on like a, a sitting on a crate like carving wood whittling. Okay. Why don't we roll up, tuck off to the side real quick, and discuss our plan here? How about we show okay. us air brief us what it's what? She's air breathers. What is what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what so you what? guys are trying to like stay hidden. That's my go- for initial goal. Yes. Uh, you want to roll me a stealth since you're a separate uh, driving entity from entity. them. Yeah. Stealth. Just to see how. how Ten, they maybe. That's a tan. Nice. That's a tan. Damn. Yeah, like you 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 cut off before uh before anybody sees any hide or hair of you. Um, I want to hurt a couple of too. All right, well, you can go ahead and roll the stealth, uh, but you have a buggy, so it's going to be a little tougher while you shouldn't have rolled, because I was going to say you got a minus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not stealthy. I'm s- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, right you're trying to, like, you're trying to, like, move this big-ass wagon, like, <laughs> um, down, uh, you know, down, like, some sort of slope so that you're hidden. But, like, you do that, but it makes a lot of noise because, like, that poor horse is going down a slant to stay hidden and, like, the fucking wagon's, like, hitching up against its ass. And, like, <laughs> just, like, <laughs> and you hear, tink, 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 tink. like, like, Rin, you kind of get tossed, like, towards the front a bit and the camera's sliding around and the bulbs are sliding around. <laughs> Ah, damn it. Watch where are you oh, going, that's... asshole. And she's yelling you hear some you hear somebody from the lake from the from the pond going, What? I ain't done nothing. <laughs> <laughs> who said who told me to watch where I'm going? <laughs> who told me who told me who told me to watch my asshole? <laughs> you watch your that. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do you uh you you're kind of like dipped a little bit uh, below like we're at the lake level so like they can they, you're out of at least eye line i want to see if there's like anybody coming towards us now so that we make such a ruckus um you want to do a little peeky peek a little peeky peek how about you do a little notice roll for me oh, look, see how look. well you do that's a 10 that's Ding. a 10 on the notice roll Jeez. Uh yeah, you you peek up like real quick. Ooh. Yeah, can you dip back down? Uh, Ren also got a seventeen. She aced twice plus nice. five. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys. Um, so Osram, you see, you see like the four that you saw. Like you know, you saw you saw one of the little halfling fellows like running over and like nudging the guy who's beating the leather. Mm-hmm. And like you can't hear quite what they're saying, but like he's pointing over. Um, you know, so it looks like he's like gathering like some, you know, some uh, some support to go check out what's going on. Mm-hmm. So it looks like he. In leather beater or like on their way over. <laughs> um <laughs> and uh Rin, as you peek out the wagon since you got a 17, uh as you as you kind of peer up, not only your your androidic ears and your uh robot eyes or whatever it is, whatever combination of that you have. Um she's got like a uh, like a scope on her hat that she pulls down she can use as like a scope for herself. <laughs> Perfect. So like you kind of zoom you zoom forward. Uh, and you can see, like, in, way in the background, you can see that there's, like, three other fellers that kind of, like, come walking out of this tent. Uh, one of them's, like, zipping up his pants and or I guess it's more like tying his pants up. Um, and uh, I don't know if they had <laughs> what zippers What were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's look you were rolling his balls. balls. I yeah, what was guys, when was that's zippers? the first thing I think of. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so you you see you see three other fellers, you see a dwarven guy kind of in the middle of them like with a big big bushy beard and you see like two other humans one of which is like, you know, currently tying their pants up. Yeah, 1914, and, uh, so we don't have zippers yet. We got zippers yet. We got another 13 years before we get zippers. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe maybe the timeline's a little skewed because yeah. you know there's dwarves and halflings in this timeline. But, uh, <laughs> It's a primitive zipper. It's a primitive zipper. Ow! Uh, <laughs> put up your... Damn, I caught the head again. Oh, oh God, man. <laughs> I keep losing it every, every time. <laughs> yeah, they say, they say it only gets shorter when you get older, but every time you use a zipper, you're, you're, you're risking life and limb. <laughs> Is it true that um, if you don't use it, you lose it? You lose it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, using one, I'm still losing it. <laughs> the more I use it, the more I lose. <laughs> so you put, see, you're putting a zipper on a pedestal. You see, <laughs> so, 
So yeah, Rin, you spot like three fellers like coming out that tent that Ostrom wasn't able to to clock from his position. Okay. I see three so more guys. Idea. What do y'all see? I see three more. So there's like four have- guys and it seemed like they're coming towards us. Four guys and three more, that's at least ten. Right? <laughs> seven. Sounds like a lot, yeah. <laughs> so seven. <laughs> Yeah, you, hear, you, hear, you, hear, you hear Bitey makes a bite sound seven times. <laughs> I lost count That's after right, the first Bitey. bite. <laughs> 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 yeah, for the viewers at home, I'm also uh, illiterate and can't count. <laughs> we get each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about Damn. you two stay behind the car, be, behind the wagon, and wait until they come to us, and then you can shoot them. And I'll hide behind the slope, and they try to look over, I'll hack their feet. Damn, awesome. Well, I, I know I, I did shoot a man earlier today, but that was, he was already drawing his gun. I, we, may, we can maybe salvage this and see what's going on here. I don't think that those people would be very friendly to us. So. First of all, we can yes. play the outlaw card. Second of all, by all accounts, they're just a bunch of idiots. Why is why the heck's this phony guys want them to get dead? Uh, a gunshot uh, <laughs> rings down on top of you guys, and um, uh, you you it's you see like a dude with a uh, a couple of guys with a pistol. That the ones that that Osram spotted that were coming up, they beat feet while y'all were talking. Um, oh shit! And uh, they do eleven damage to Cutter. As they just shoot down, since he's the one on like the nice horse, he's the one that's not in the wagon. Oh, and they wait. just like sh- they just shoot down, oh. and they um yeah. So whatever How your does toughness th- is, any of this work. So they hit a five, which need a, to get I a four a, to get right, your pair or to get your shot. So I take so every five. so you get shaken you get shaken first, and then every four above that you take a wound. <sighs> You get you get sh- you get shot by by one so of the guys five. and they yell. I'm a lot, so I'm fucking like dead. <laughs> no, you you took eleven damage. If your toughness is what six, so I took five damage. So I, sh- I get shaken and I take four wounds. Well, well, you, well, no, you take for every four above, you take one wound. Uh, so you, okay. you're wounded and shaken. Ah, oh man, I've been wounded and I'm I'm shaken by this experience. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that like you get you get you get knocked off your horse when you take that shot. Oh. You take you take you take one like in the aren't you wearing like a like some oh. sort of jacket like a duster or something yeah, yeah, or you're got, not wearing a duster? I got a duster baby. Yeah, you get one that kind of like clocks like the thicker part of your duster and just like lays into you, uh, knocks you off off your horse, and your horse goes fuck this and like starts running away. <laughs> um, <laughs> My better <buddy, come. laughs> Uh And so you, you you hear before we before we start rolling, you hear. You hear, that's what you get for coming to our house. Un- inter- er, no, that's not the word. Uninvited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, just gonna... wanted pie. <laughs> so we're going to do some. We're going to do some card rolls now for initiative. All right. Am I still Ooh. hidden? Uh, you were hidden when you were trying to st- like. When you were trying not to be seen by viewing them, but they heard y'all fucking yelling and shit down there. So. I wasn't yelling; I was uh, whispering. Yeah, but they were, and you were talking to them. <laughs> so, um, and you're not in the wagon. You were you you drove the wagon down. You're in the front of the fucking wagon. So yes, they see you. They see they see uh, the only one they probably wouldn't see maybe is Rin because Rin was in the back. Um, so I don't know where she is, but like they would definitely have seen you and Cutter. Um, so no, you're not hidden at the moment, Mr. Mr. Rogue. <laughs> <laughs> the so, the rogue. yeah, so, uh, let's see. Top of the order is, um, oh, the tough boys. Um, so nothing happens yet because wherever I imagine this person to be is not close enough to remotely get fucking close to you yet. So it was a waste of his turn. He's just getting closer. You hear, I'll be there in a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. So, uh, then after he goes, uh, Ren, you're up. All right. What do you do? I'm gonna use my scope and shoot at him. Shoot at who? You see, you're, you're still in the back of the wagon, right? So you're like poking up through the front to take a shot. 
Yeah, I'm going to poke out through the yourself? window at the, is it the wife that shot at us? Or was it the husband? Uh-huh. I can't remember. You're you're like miles, but this is new people. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. This this is this isn't the same two people. This is just like a halfling and a man, like the one that was beaten leather, like by the lake or the pond that um shot at y'all because like they heard you fucking screaming down by the. Oh, pussy I thought pussy it footers. was the wife and the husband. This no. okay? okay. No, it's the pussy <laughs> footers. I they followed us in. Like it was like, give me back my pie. <laughs> I ate it. Fucking sorry. <laughs> I mean, they. I mean, they might. You don't know what kind of enemies you're making right now. I mean, really, you pissed off a lot of people <laughs> already. Shit, um, in the Wild West. Yeah. So, so you're currently in the back of the wagon that's like kind of tilted upwards because like Osram took the cart down like a little embankment to like kind of like try to hide you guys. Um, and so you kind of tilted upwards. Uh, and uh, so like imagine that like your ho- your horse and buggy are like parallel to the lake. That the side that the 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 pussy footers are on, and um, Aust- and, and Cutter just got shot off his horse. <laughs> okay. So and you're in like you're in like a tarped wagon. It's like you don't really have a window. You just have like the back end, or you can crawl up to the front where Osram is. Okay, so I will crawl up to the front and shoot out the window. At and you the- can no window. Multi- <laughs> Yeah, so you can take multiple actions, but how that works is if you're doing something that doesn't have a weapon that does multiple fire shots, which typically like pistols don't. Yeah. Um, they're not machine guns. Uh, you no. can take multiple actions, but for each multiple action that you take, there's a minus. It's minus two if you take two actions, and it's minus four to your action if you take three. But you can take up to three each turn. Okay. There's more actions you can take, but right now it's just we're just focused on shooties for now. Okay. Well, I definitely want to just like reach out the front window and shoot at the the woman who shot first at Cutter. Uh, you believe it or not, it's not a woman. It's just really high pitched half. Oh, high pitched. <laughs> okay, well, the guy then. <laughs> He's just very, very have a very high pitched voice. Damn, uh, so you're dude. gonna shoot the happy? <laughs> yeah. Oh my word! Look at her hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so you would roll your shooting skill. Um, okay. That is a seven. Um, I, even with any negatives that I would have given you, that's still a hit. Um, okay. So um, you shoot up and you shoot into them. Uh, so you do uh, a four. If you'd have gotten eight, uh, then that would have been bonus damage. But you only got four. Um, so you wing them for four. Let me check their toughness to see if we see what's what. Um, <laughs> it's not enough. So you shoot him and like you wing through like his jacket. Uh, and he goes, my favorite coat. Um, and like kind of like ducks <laughs> like over the embankment to like try to avoid your shot. Okay. Um, but you okay? Um, so you can take cover if you want, like to hide back in the wagon if you like. Uh, you can still move or or you can jump out of the wagon if you want. I'll hide in the wagon. Okay, so you're gonna take take a little hidey hole. Yeah, I'm a good. Sniper. All right. Um, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna obscure you pretty good because he can't see in there. Um, <laughs> so it's just gonna be a random shooty shoot. See if he hits you. Um, okay. Up next, we have got. Um, I believe hearts go before clubs. So Cutter, you're up. Cutter. Well, I'm gonna be trying to come unshaken and then. Oh yeah, you have to unshake. I forgot. I succeed. You succeed at I'm shaking yourself. I'm on the ground. I'm like, sons of bitches. <laughs> I, I jump to my feet and I attempt to. <laughs> so you remember, you have to declare your actions before you take them. Okay. I'm going to make a move. So if you want to do more than one. And trying to get myself lined up behind a tree so I can okay, take cover. Okay, you're running behind a tree. That's fine. Um, and so, are you going to take one shot or multiple shots? Uh, I'm going to do a single Rudy Tootie point and shooty. Okay, so no penalty on that. Now, what I'd say from where you are, you're probably maybe like, are you shooting with your pistol or with your with your carbine? Yeah, my, my gun's on the back of the horse wherever it went. <laughs> or my rifle was like this. <laughs> my, my carbine's on the back of the horse. So that, All right, so, you, so you, got, you got your pistol. Yeah, it's the, you're definitely not within like close pistol range with where these guys are. Uh, it's probably going to be your mid range, so it'll be a minus two to the shot. Okie dokie, artichoke. Yeah, so it'll <laughs> be a shooty. Where the, where the fuck it shoot at? There it is. Found it. Are Point. you shooting at the halfling? Or are you shooting uh, at the, at the oh, yes. human? Did I get a good look at who shot me? Probably not. The halfling definitely shot you. <laughs> He's got yeah. He had a smoking gun when like you fell off and like looked up. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take aim at that 
a little MF and like, I'm going to try and shoot him. It's like, take that, you ugly fucker. See <laughs> <laughs> so who's ugly when they got holes in their heads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be you. Oh, I didn't do unshaking. Oh, fuck. Never, never, oh, well. no. I didn't unshake myself. Oh, yeah. You, you have to unshake yourself before you roll. Well, what negative did I get? Well, that's really bad. So can I just do a new roll? It's a minus two. You can re-roll it. It's fine. It's still kind of, it's it's tricky. Um, uh, I still fuck up. It's still, yeah. We'll see who's ugly with a hole in their head. <laughs> oh, ping, 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 ping. Yeah, you shoot you, you shoot kidding. in like um yeah just kidding <laughs> you you shoot and you hear like a pew as like the bullet ricochets off of like a nearby stone pew. um so you're currently in like a half cover situation that's good that's good um all right we got Ostrom up next you're you're currently in the front seat of the buggy and there's a couple of fellers up on top of the hill um that are currently uh doing some narrative well stuff what do you do I uh, so there are two people who are close to us right now, right? Uh, they're up on the bank, like on the embankment, because you guys went down the embankment to avoid mm-hmm. being seen, like at the lake. So they're kind of like on the high ground right now from you. But yes, they 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 are there are two that are closer to you than the rest. Okay, then I want to go up the embankment and slash twice against the half lane. Okay, and do you, I forget, uh, since you have double fisted, does that, is there a penalty? For, I think you still have a double or some sort of penalty for doing. I well, have. There's no, there's no X, there's no extra penalty. You just get the standard minus two. You don't have to do, there's usually a double if you swing with your offhand, but you have two handed. Like so one extra fighting roll with a second melee attack and the offhand at no multi action penalty. No multi action penalty at all? No, no one. No penalty. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. And also because I'm swinging with two weapons, if the person that I'm attacking has only one weapon in their hand, I get a plus one to my attack rolls. Uh, to to each one. Well, they. It's a, is it wep- weapons in their hand or weapons on their person? In their hands. Okay, well, yeah, they only got pistols in their hands right now. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, that is definitely only one weapon. So, uh, a so you seven and a three. Um, so which one were you hitting first? I was trying to uh, hit both with, uh, at the halfling. Oh, both at the halfling? Yeah, well, jump only up one of them... and then like swing down on her. All right, only one of them hits. Ease. Yeah, only one of them just gets a little bit over their their parry. So that is whatever your damage is on that. Uh, what's your what's your damage, son? Oh, well, you only you don't get the bonus damage, so you did seven. It, so. <laughs> seven damage with the axes. Uh, let me see what their toughy is. Oh, you've shaken him. You've you cut across him, and he's all like, "Oh God, that axe is as big as me." No. <laughs> uh, so, so you have shaken that feller, and he is having a hard time, if, uh, as it were. Um, and then can I hide behind something, like cover? Uh, there isn't like really much because you just ran up mm-hmm. to like go attack them. So I don't think you're gonna have enough. You can try to get a little bit of ways away from them, but like maybe back down the embankment. But like that would really give them the high ground on you if you did that. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, the closest cover is probably like either the wagon or the tree that like cutters duck behind because they're kind of in like an open area because they came to you. So well, and you just use your you use most of your movement to climb up the hill to go fight them. I want to hide behind the shaken person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, fine. You're gonna try to hide behind the shaken guy. We'll yes. see how that goes. <laughs> All right, using him as a meat shield. Yes. <laughs> um. Well, you already took an action. Otherwise, I'd say you could do like a contest to do that, but. Um, you've already done your thing, so but you could potentially do that next time if you want to do a contest to fucking <laughs> use them as a bullet shield. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, very good. Um, the hatchet man. Um, yes. Okay, so you two have gone. So it's time for the for the for the hench boys. So I'm gonna see if this guy can unshake himself real quick. Unshake. Uh, he you know he doesn't have a wild die, so he fails. The yeah. the, little, the little guy's like, oh god. I'm still frightened. <laughs> um, and so he's just going to try to make a bolt for like, you know, back towards the camp where like Osram, Osram, now that you're up on there, you can see that like, like 
about half a dozen other dudes are currently running towards your location and some are you can see are like kind of getting behind some crates like getting ready to start shooting at you stay here um, i need you <laughs> fuck yourself <laughs> he runs away because he fails to shake he doesn't get in the cover though like well actually no if he takes his full action uh to do that because he can't do anything else he's just gonna like run and like he's gonna like hide behind like where like the cooking pot's hanging over the fire <laughs> <laughs> and try to like avoid getting shot in the face um so his his boy like kind of like sees you like as as he runs he just sees you like right there he pulls his pistol he's in like perfect pistol range to shoot you <laughs> as his buddy runs he's like all right you ugly son of a bitch um and he's gonna he's gonna take a little shooty shoot at you uh and see what happens Ooh, that's a five he doesn't well while, yeah in case you're curious uh the wieners don't get wild dice so that <laughs> those numbers don't count um so that's a five so that's a that's a that's a shooty um um, he does nine damage to you, Ostrom, but I don't think that breaks your toughness, though, do it? Nah, nah. I just so look angry at like, him. He rips your jacket a little bit, and he sees, like, the bullet kind of deflect off. He's like, what in the hell? <laughs> and he starts, like, he starts, like, running back towards where his buddy is, like, near the soup. <laughs> 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 to, to go and take, <laughs> go and take some cover. Um, Run, man, you Ostrom, you're the only, you're the only one that's up there. Everybody else is still down on the hill. Um, so uh yeah there's like yeah, they're hiding so they're hiding biding their time so uh yeah also i'm just gonna do like some quick fire like because like two of these boys got fucking like rifles out that they're like fucking aiming down over across these boxes trying to shoot you um we'll give them you're probably more you're more than 24 feet so we'll give them their minus two for their shot um so that's an eight it's still a shot on you uh and that's actually they do get bonus damage oh no that's no that's the that's their damage i did the wrong thing i did this this is what i meant to do okay so they miss never mind ignore that nice damage <laughs> ignore that that was that would have been terrible for you but i rolled the wrong thing so this 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 nerd just misses completely like as it bounces across from you another one takes a shot same thing uh also fucking misses you they they suck <laughs> Unless this is this yards or feet? If this was yards, they would be in range. If it's they're feet, they're definitely feet, not in range. I think it's start, I think um, it's feet in that book. Is it feet? Well, if it's feet, then they're definitely not in range to fucking <laughs> to not have a negative, even with these rifles. Well, who uses yards? Um, yeah, um, and then um, uh, football players. That's you. Um, well, I'm not a football player. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, a couple more come up, um, and they do a little. Uh, um, they do just a couple of cold actions. They're definitely are going to get a minus two on their shots too, because they're definitely not within fucking range of shooting you normally. Um, uh, that's still a four for one of them, and then the you other one is going to take. I rolled damage again. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, then they both missed again. God damn, they suck. They're really bad at shooting. I need they're to teach terrible them. Terrible shooters. <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're not. Yeah, they're not. They're not good, you know. <laughs> uh, and then there's going to be one more shot coming from across the way on you. Um, this one's got a little better range. It's going. To this one's going to two. kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. These guys are apparently not very good at this. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> <I'm wrong. laughs> fucking did terrible. He, like, so like shot his own teammate. <laughs> Uh okay. I well, shoot that's, some well, fucking shoulder. Shit. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, is yep, that a like, yep, critical right. fail? <laughs> well, that's redraw. That's redraw. So that's an ace for cutter. That's a nine for Osram. That's a five for Rin. That's a three for the weenies. And that's a king for the for the big boy. Um How do you get the ace clubs. Uh well the other guys drawed shittily. <laughs> oh, that mean you guys. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't try uh, so shittily so, next time. <laughs> Cutter, you're up. Nice. Um, jeez, I. <sighs> We're gonna die. So you're behind a tree. <laughs> These guys suck. They just tried to. They all shot terribly. I got shot right <laughs> in the chest though earlier. <laughs> well, you got you got sneak attacked. <laughs> I did, but uh, okay. Well, there's also at least one leader among them. There uh, is a wild card among them. What do you do there, Cutter? I guess they have been, well, they haven't hit anybody yet, have they? Except for me earlier on. Except for you. 
I well, right I mean, they they shot they shot they shot Osram, but the bullet bounced off. Right, right, right. Before this, we started playing. I I dumbed my persuasion down from a six to a four, just because I liked the idea of my character not being too talk talkative. But now right. I wanna, I'm going to try and be. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hold on. We didn't come here for no shooting or no fighting. Let's just all cool it. Some shots been fired. Some actions have been swung, but God damn it. Let's all calm down. Um, I'm persuade. Five. Yeah. Then let's do uh, what's well, going to be a contest. Um, okay. I think I'm going to have, um, what would that be to contest the persuasion? Well, probably persuasion. Spirit. Yeah, we'll do spirit. Sure. We can do spirit. Hopefully I don't have good spirit. I have a minus one wound. I can't talk too good. <laughs> <laughs> well, he rolled a five on a spirit roll, so it's uh it's it's an even match. And it would the, the, the dwarven stalemate. <laughs> the dwarven fella yells across and he's like he's like Um What's your business here, fella? Damn, I didn't think that, I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> <laughs> um we were sent by the, the Phony Express. Uh, we got some. <laughs> we hate them fuckers. <laughs> we have a package for you. <laughs> I got some. We got some news for you. <laughs> yeah, I got news for you that you're going to have holes, extra holes in you. I know you got. I mean, I know you got. And you're like, boss, he already has. Ho- I know. He always. Uh, I know you already I said, got I holes. Extra. <laughs> you're going. Did I say extra earlier? I don't know, boss. Um. Well, you're gonna have more in you when I'm done with you. Um, is that was that is actually <laughs> doing well. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. Can, I don't know if you. I guess I can't do anything much else. Can I do another attempt at talking to him? Uh, sure, but it'll be at minus two because you uh, you're taking multiple actions. All right, well, I got I got intimidation, so I'm gonna try it. Well, all right, here's the deal. We got some high-powered machinery on the back of this here wagon. Once we point this at you guys, it's going to fry all your brains out of your heads. <laughs> Damn it, nope. <laughs> Minus two, so that's zero. <laughs> that's zero. Oh, fuck. And he's just like, oh, yeah, I believe you. He goes, boy, that sounds so scary. <laughs> yeah, it sure does, doesn't it there, uh, Timmy? <laughs> I look back at Ren, I'm like, I think I got him, Ren. <laughs> How about you talk less and shoot more? Well, that's his turn. I've used up all stay, my turn, <laughs> All right, we'll go do the we'll go to the to the wild card. Like he's the one that was yelling across at you, the big dwarven guy, and he's he pulls out this like really nice looking carbine. He's like, all right, uh, and he uh, he shoots that she shoots that shit. Um, well, I guess he, I guess he'd probably move into position and try to get a shot on on uh, on Cutter um, since Cutter was doing all this fucking threatening. Um, but Cutter, you're currently in cover. Uh, he's within range. That'll be about minus two for him to shoot you with yeah, his right. carbine. Sucky. Um, so he's gonna go do a little. And, and no, Sucky's back home. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, <that's> terrible! <laughs> he's fucking terrible. He These crit failed. The fucking suck. gun locks up. Yeah, well, the gun fucking locks up. He's like, shit. Oh God damn it! <laughs> and he like, you see, you see, he just like chucks the gun and he like runs runs back to the tent. And you see him like. He comes back out the tent with a shotgun in his hands, um, and uh, but yeah, he's a little farther away from you now because his fucking gun jammed on him. Uh, <laughs> these guys <laughs> fucking suck. <laughs> okay, so, um, so that leads. Yeah, that leads us to Osram. Osram, you're up. Um, what's the people position right now? Uh, that right now, um, there are two to uh, to your left who ran over to hide behind the soup. Uh, and then there are five other people that are like up and around the area. There's like four other like little wiener dudes that are like hiding behind crates and shit, like up towards the tents. And then you can see like the dwarven fella who seems to be the ringleader who is way off in the distance by his personal tent, uh, currently, uh, brandishing a shotgun. Um, if I will go up to a people of the crates, could I hide behind those crates or are people know. around those crates? I mean, you could take cover to like behind the crates. You yeah. know, you wouldn't be able to make an attack like if like from the from, from the crate cover because you're wielding an axe. <laughs> but like, and you're short. 
Um, but I mean, but like, like, if there's could... a person behind the box, couldn't I like attack the person and then hide behind the box? Well, if you're saying you want to go attack someone who's currently in cover um, and then hide in their spot if you kill them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you could. It's a bit of a way, so it would probably be all your standard movement unless you dash mm. um, to get over there. But you could. You could run over to where you see one of them hiding and try to uh, try to do a little swingy. Okay, then I'll do it. <laughs> okay, so you're just going to run up to one of them that's hiding behind a box? <laughs> yes, and I will swing my axes of... Of axedom, of hatchetness. <laughs> of hatchetness, yes. <laughs> You're gonna swing your axes, uh, these crazy fucking battle axes. Um, that is a fourteen. That is a fourteen. It sure is. Have, why does the second one always suck? <laughs> well, hey, I mean, you still got one. Yeah, that's still not. That's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. Um, let me see about their um. Let's see. You've scored a 14 on damage on the one. You definitely get a bonus die for that damage. Uh, and then you've done 13 plus two damage, which is 15. Oh, uh, that is... You have multiple ra raises. Uh, most, on, on the attack, you only get one bonus die. Okay. Uh, but the damage can ace as many Oh, right, right. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Hmm? Um, so, yeah, that's way more than enough to kill this fucking fool. Nice. <laughs> this you. <laughs> He has a toughness of five and you got 15. That's three times what he has. So like you, you swing through, you, uh, you shake him for the first and then like, you just fucking put him down. Like you need two wounds worth to kill him. And he's right. like, well, well uh, I guess I'll... he just looks up with like fear in his eyes. Like, well, uh. <laughs> it's just a little color <laughs> chubby up on him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, huh? Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. <laughs> and, and you just bury your ax into his body and he is, um, he's in a bad way now. Um, so he's dead. He's 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 with the angels now. Cool. And um, I stole nice. his cover. You did. Um, all right. Um, so you're now in his little little hidey box. Uh, let's move to Rin. Rin, you're up. All right. What do you do? You're currently down in the wagon, away from all the action at this point. All right. I guess I'll get out and meet up with the cutter and Osram and attempt to. Join them. Hmm. Well, Cutter's the closest one. Ostrom's way down into into the mix at this point. Um, uh, but as you come up, like from the bank, you can see that Cutter is hiding behind a nearby tree, uh, and you can see, you know, like some miscellaneous dudes spread out the camp with like hiding behind these different crates, and then two guys cowering over behind uh, a soup container <laughs> by the campfire. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. So. Is the one guy that I shot first still up? The one guy that you shot. That oh, yeah, he's still up. Yeah, you just like winged him. But yeah, he's the he's the one that's cowering. He's a little halfling that's cowering by the soup. OK, I'm going to try the one that's still to shaking. shoot him and get him down. All right. He's are you you're pistoling him. Yeah. All right. He's a bit of a ways away from you. So that's probably going to use your mid range shot. So it'll be a minus two to your shot to hit him. OK. You also have a long range right. weapon. It's um, it has a pistol. A ah. Colt Peacemaker. It's twelve twenty four ah, okay. yeah. forty eight. Go for it. Um, mm. That's a six on the wild die, which is two after the minus. Oh no, that's already with the minus, right? Yeah. Yep, I did so, a minus. Yeah. Mm. That's a sixer. That's a hit. That's a hit Ooh. on them. Uh, so go ahead and roll your roll your damage. Ooh, so that's you a roll the thirteen. Ooh, a thirteen. Nice. So. Fucking yeah, um, he's already shaken. So yeah, you put him down like with, with this fucking shot. Um, it's like straight through. Uh, like he's like hiding, hiding his face behind like the behind the soup can or behind the soup pot, and then like your bullet just gets him in the gut. Uh, no more and soup he just, for like, you. He just, yeah, no soup for you. As he peels <laughs> back, and the soup the the soup spills over, scorching his little halfling body. Um, and you have you have taken down another one of these fools. Good job. Um, did you want to move anywhere else uh, to try to take cover anywhere, or maybe behind the tree that Cutter's behind? Yeah, I'll probably um, go back. You're kind of in cutter. the open right now. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Good shit. Well done. Uh, now it's the Weenie's turn. So there's only a couple. There's about four of them left, plus the other guy. Um, because you guys killed two, I believe. It was a cut down and a shoot down. Mm. Um, Cutter. Uh, they're they're upset with you. Um, so one guy's gonna 
get a little bit closer and uh, try to take a pistol shot at you. Matt me, bro. He's he's mad. <laughs> he rolled a four, uh, but you're in cover, so he does nothing because he sucks. <laughs> um, he's another one of the up. riflemen. Sucky. Another one of the riflemen is uh, gonna try to take a shot at um, at Cutter as well. Um, He's going to do a little shooty shoot. He's a little farther away, but even at a minus two, that's a five. But you're also at a minus two for cover. So that's a three. So he misses again. Take that. Oh, no, that's... What? Well, that's his damage. Never mind. Hang on. Ah! <laughs> oh, he doesn't have a wild die, so he definitely misses. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, and the other one is going. Uh, there's uh, another rifleman. Uh, saw you cutting down one of the other boys with the pistols, and he's going to try to shoot at Osram. Who's currently behind the crates, uh, but he's behind the crates on the enemy line side, so it might be a little bit easier to hit him. <laughs> um, but he's going to give it a shot. He's going to use his rifle. Um, I'm only going to give him a minus two, so minus we're going to do a little, sh- little shooty shoot. He doesn't have a wild die. Man, these guys suck. He rolls a three minus two. <laughs> these guys blow. <laughs> um, there's one more that sees Ren. Uh, and he's like way out of his league, but he's gonna careful go by a shooting. Shot. Uh, wow, yep, he critically failed. His gun jams too. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> these guys suck. Uh, that's the end of that round. What's cow? We've got a th- cow pokes are like the weenies. Huh. Oh, uh oh, somebody got a joker. Ooh, nice. Oh, who's that? Me? Yeah, yeah Smoses got a joker. Uh, Ostrom. So I got another um, penny, right? Oh, I got... Is that a three I got? I'm, I'm quick. I can re-roll that, or I can redraw that. That's yeah, I have five. a okay. two. That's a nine. Nice. You got a niner. Um, so a joker means that you all get a Benny. Nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot um, bennies. Oh, my God. Bennies, you guys. Bennies. Yeah, you have bennies. <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> do we also get a penny from the beginning? I got balls. No, you get... Yes, I, yeah. I, gave you bo- I gave you both. I gave you all two balls to start with. No, um, so you're free now. So you all have three balls now. Um, so I have three don't balls forget to mark that <laughs> Three balls. Uh, yeah, I put the I put the bennies there to help remind y'all that you get them. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the Joker gives you all a Benny, and I believe Adrian it gives you um, an plus extra plus two, two to whatever attack. action that you want to take. Jeez. Yes, uh, and then we reshuffle the deck after that. Um, so you can choose to go first, or you can choose to interrupt somebody else's turn. Whatever works for you. Um, that's uh, the beauty of the Joker is you can like if somebody goes to take their turn and you're like, well, I want to interfere. I want to do my turn now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I think I'll start. OK. And. First, is there more people behind boxes? <laughs> yeah, there's 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 several. There's uh, four other dudes left, plus uh, plus the dwarf that's by his tent. Um, and one uh, one of them actually ran past you to go and try to take a shot at Cutter and missed terribly. So like okay. the closest one to you would be the one that like ignored you to go try to shoot Cutter. <laughs> and that's a good one to start with. Then I want to go up to that guy and swing. Um, how is that? If I would declare free attacks, but can I do this in different people? You still have the multi-action penalty. It would just be a minus two because you're taking two actions, one of which... would be negated to a zero, wouldn't it? You're right. It would. Um, So, but yeah, if you want to split it between three people, it would... You would just declare who you're using each action on. Okay. So, yeah, I want to... Hmm. So you're going to do how many? I want to do three attacks. And I'm going... Yes, and on whom? On on uh, all on the uh, all on the uh, <laughs> all on the guy shooting shooting a cutter. No, I think I'll do two attacks on him, and then I go up to another guy and attack the next closest. Okay, go ahead and do two attacks on uh, on this failure here. That's a miss. Wow, that, that's that also sure fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Even with your bonuses, you got Jack. Uh, not great. Well, well, <laughs> well, you gotta 
Well, so yeah, so you went and took two swings <laughs> at the guy that's shooting at, at Cutter, and he <laughs> just like definitely away. dodges each one. He's like, oh, oh god! <laughs> and so like you, you miss, and you're like, ah, fuck this guy! And then you yeah. run up to the next dude who's like got a rifle. Anyway. <laughs> you run up to the next guy that's got a rifle in his hand near the tanner, and you're like, he's like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's so you get an extra bonus die and your damage on that one. So that's uh, fourteen. That's fourteen damage. Um, nice. Fourteen damage on that guy. Um, and uh, yep, that's more than enough to shake and kill that dude. So <laughs> right. <laughs> so we have how many down now? Dude. Two. You have three down, three, three down. minis left, and one one boss. Woo. You do a classic western sort of. He clutches his chest. Ah! I'll leave a slice. But he'll go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, he lets him scream. <laughs> he lets out. A, he lets out. A, he lets out a Wilhelm. He goes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic. Um. So yeah. So you slice him down. So I slice um, this guy down, and I want to hide behind something again. Okay. Cool. 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 Slice cool. dice tree. All right. Us. Very good. Um, so Osram, you're good. And don't forget you all three have an extra Benny now. Um, mm-hmm. and so let's go to, oh, it's the tough boy's turn. Um, he's going to run up. He's going to run up right up on you, uh, Osram. Um, and he's like, he has a, he has a fucking Try shotgun me, in his hands. <laughs> you know, they also have Bennies. <laughs> Other wild cards also have Bennies. I think that they're overconfident <laughs> In and they don't forget them. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't forget them because they're they have my brain. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna he's gonna run up and just like put the shotgun like right near you, um, and just try to take a shot because uh, he's feeling that confident. He just sits it down near you and takes a shot at the ground. Yeah, he just sits down. And he's like, uh, oh, "No, listen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. what, I'm, what I'm about to do is impersonal. <laughs> I am not your son." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> really bummed me out there. <laughs> oh, he got an 11 on the wild die. Oh, nice. Um, so that's definitely more than enough to get that bonus damage. Um, And he's going to shoot that fucking... Sh- oh, my fucking fuck? God. Oh, <laughs> damn. 39 damage. He really aced four fucking times on that's his... That's so on his... stupid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. Ladies and gentlemen. I think you can, we're you, all now, just dead now. now. Thanks. <laughs> now you can take you can take something that we didn't have uh Justin do in the last campaign was you can do a soak roll. Yes. And s- s- you can do a spirit roll spending one of your bennies. You can only do it once. Uh you can do a Benny spirit roll to see if you can't mitigate some of that damage. I wouldn't be weaker roll, it's for my health. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's spirit. Is uh, is it vigor? That might it be. It makes sense for spirit. In my opinion. well, you know what? There there is a soak roll. So just roll it and see what it does. <laughs> hey, it's a soak roll. Yeah, the soak roll button. <laughs> wow, you did not roll well at all. <laughs> you mitigated five. I. You know what? I think it's just every four. But to keep it simple, we're just gonna say you mitigate five. Yes. Five damage. <laughs> it's still way too much. So, <laughs> so it's thirty four <laughs> fucking damage that he does to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your toughness? This might not kill you because you have pretty high toughness. I have thirteen toughness. Okay, maybe that'll kill you then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because every four above, uh, let's see, uh, thirty-four minus thirteen is uh, what twenty-one. That's a lot. Yes. That's way, way more than <laughs> what you have. <laughs> so, you, oh man, Adrian, I'm sorry. <laughs> but fucking like this dwarf just runs up and just places a shotgun like right near your fucking dome and just fucking explodes this double barrel shotgun into into Osram and Osram just like fucking collapses in a heap of blood behind these boxes. Um uh, I don't even know if I should make you have a bleed out because, like, you got so many more wounds than what you can take. This sucks um, so much, Ed. I was so excited to play this character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. That's that's savage. That's Savage Worlds, baby. You, you have a backup <laughs> one, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for for a moment, uh, the world stops as Osram sees pellets <laughs> flying out of a double barrel shotgun, breaking through his 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 tough scales, and then leaving him in a in a lifeless pile on the ground. And you just hear you hear the dwarven man shout out, and he says, two down." Nope, that's not right. It's it's one down, sir, and two to go.
Well, just look good already. Time for 